Hello friends, welcome to Tech Accessibility Tutorials. This is Vaishnavi here. So friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you some WhatsApp latest features which are in a better version right now and some WhatsApp useful tips and tricks as well. So friends, if you want my latest updates and videos like this, just click on subscribe button. Then you will get all my latest updates and videos to your email directly. So friends, let's open WhatsApp. WhatsApp. I have double tapped on WhatsApp and already opened a chat. My chat. So friends, in the previous versions, the attach button was located on the right top corner of the screen, right? So the WhatsApp is testing in the beta versions. The attach button was relocated from the top right corner of the screen to bottom right corner of the screen. So I have already opened a chat on WhatsApp. Now I'm going to show you where the attach button was exactly relocated to. So I'm going to swipe from emoji button that is left bottom corner of the screen. Emoji button. Emoji button. I'm going to swipe right again. Edit box. Type of message. Edit box. I'm going to swipe right again. Attach button. Attach button. Camera button. Camera button. Voice message button. Voice message button. So above the edit box on the right side there are three buttons. Attach button, camera button, voice message button and on the left side of the edit box there is an emoji button as usually. So friends in the beta versions the attach button was relocated from right top corner of the screen to bottom right corner of the screen. It may be applied to stable versions in the coming up weeks. So friends if you want to join as a beta tester through play store I have already made a video that is top 8 play store tips and tricks. So go and watch it. In the video I have taught you how to join as a beta tester through play store. Friends, the next one is also a beta feature that is posting text status updates. It is in beta version right now. So the WhatsApp has reintroducing text status updates with a new name about. So friends if you are using 2.17.97 WhatsApp beta version you can post text status updates. So now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna open WhatsApp, WhatsApp. and double tap on more options which is located on the top right corner of the screen. More options button. Now navigate to settings. No. Settings. Okay, I have double tapped on settings. Now here you have to double tap on your profile, then scroll down until you hear about and phone number. So in the about section, you can see your old status and double tap on it. And there you can see the status updates and you can set as per your preferences. So friends, in this way you can also post text status updates if you are using beta version right now and it will be rolled down to stable versions in the coming up weeks. Zero. The next tip is about separate buttons for calling, I mean voice calling and video calling. So friends, this is also in the beta version right now and it may be applied in the coming weeks to stable versions. So friends, in the previous versions, we have to double tap on call button and double tap on voice call or video call as per our preferences in the WhatsApp. Now the WhatsApp has introduced two separate buttons for voice call as well as for video call. So I have already opened a chat. So I'm gonna swipe from the top of the screen to show you the call buttons. My chat. My chat button. I mean the chat's name is. I'm gonna swipe right again. Video call button. Video call button. I'm gonna swipe right again. Call button. Call button. So friends, in this way. The call button has divided into two parts. So now we can easily make a voice call or video call without double tapping on the call and double tapping on the voice call or video call buttons. Zero. So friends, the voice call button and video call button is located on the top right corner of the screen besides the chat name. And you can only see this call buttons in the personal chat or individual chats. You cannot see this call buttons in the group chat. So friends, the next trick is about how to suspend voice message. So friends, most of us use voice message to convey our thoughts and share our views with friends and relatives. So sometimes we don't want to send the voice message, but if we lift the finger, the voice message will be automatically sent to the person. So in this context, how to suspend voice message. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. 
so I have already opened a chat here and I'm gonna double tap and long press on the voice message camera button voice message button so so friends if you want to suspend the voice message don't lift the finger and just slide your finger to the left side of the screen so I'm gonna double tap and long press on the voice message button and I'm gonna slide my finger to the left side voice message button okay the voice message was getting recorded and now I'm gonna swipe left or slide left with my finger without lifting my finger from the voice message button if I lift my finger the voice message will be sent so I have done that there is no voice message here because I have suspended the voice message so friends in this way you can easily suspend the voice message but don't lift the finger just slide to the left from the voice message button without lifting your finger Zero. friends the next trick is about how to answer whatsapp call while you're using talkback so many people have asked me how to answer whatsapp call while they're using talkback so friends for this purpose i'm using two other mobiles because if i call through my whatsapp the video recording will be stopped here so i'm using two other mobiles to show you how to do that so let's call through whatsapp zero zero I'm gonna call through whatsapp from one mobile to another mobile so now i'm gonna double tap on voice call button voice call. i have double tapped on voice call button now i'm getting called to and the mobile here incoming voice call voice okay. call contact profile photo now i'm gonna activate notification panel incoming. notification shade now we have to quickly swipe right from the display seek control bar mute button on D friend for display brightness seek control 49 percent i'm gonna swipe right again outdoors not checked outdoors checkbox i'm gonna swipe right again friend 402 pm incoming voice call now it says who is calling me Double i'm gonna swipe to right activate. again decline button decline Double button to activate i'm gonna swipe right again answer button Double tap to activate so answer button so here it says who is calling you decline button and answer button if we double tap on answer button the call will be answered and if we double tap on decline button the call will be declined so friends in this way you can easily answer whatsapp call as well as you can decline whatsapp call Zero one. the next trick is about how to view the links that are sent in a group chat or personal chat so while we are in groups there are a lot of messages coming up and if you want to view the only links i'm gonna show you how to do that so i'm gonna double tap on more options which is located on the top right corner of the screen in a chat more options button now we have to double tap on group media in this more options group info and list i'm gonna swipe right again group media group media so i have double tapped on group media now we can see three tabs media tab documents tab and links tab navigate up button media selected media selected documents documents links links we have to double tap on links. how to use paper part one so if we double tap on links it will show all the links which are sent in the group or personal chat so that you can easily view the links without swiping across all the messages Zero. so friends the next trick is about how to enable two-step verification on whatsapp the whatsapp has recently introduced two-step verification as an additional layer of security to verifying or resetting your account so you have to enter the six digit passcode to enable the two-step verification and you have to remember the six digit passcode while you're resetting or verifying your whatsapp account again so i'm going to show you how to enable it so i'm going to double tap on whatsapp here whatsapp and double tap on more options which is located on the top right corner Calls. more options but okay now navigate to settings here settings now we have to double tap on account chats account here we have to double tap on two step verification option two dash step verification and list two dash step verification okay here it says for added security enable two dash step verification which will require a passcode when registering your phone number with whatsapp again so i'm gonna swipe right again enable button enable button now we have to enter the six digit passcode to verify our account and to enable two-step verification so i'm gonna enter it now pause button so i have typed my passcode and double tapped on next button now it says confirm passcode confirm your passcode colon 
Edit box. So I'm gonna double tap and type my passcode again. Talkback is activated. Tap pause button. So after re-entering the passcode, it will directly take you to the next screen to enter your email ID. Add an email address to your account which will be used to reset your passcode. If you forget it and safeguard your account, skip. So if you want to change the passcode or if you forget the passcode while verifying your WhatsApp account, you have to provide an email address through which you can disable or change your passcode. So pause button. now I'm gonna type my email address here. I have typed my email address and gonna double tap on next button here. Add an edit box. Next button. I have double tapped on next button. Now it's asking me to re-enter my email address. So I have to give my email address properly again. Talk back exact. Pause button. So now I have typed my email address again and double tap on save button. Edit. Save button. So I have double tapped on save button. Now it's asking me. Two dash step verification. Two dash step verification is enabled. So now I'm gonna swipe right again. Done button. So we have to double tap on done button to apply the settings on WhatsApp. So friends, in this way, you have to enable the two-step verification on your WhatsApp. Zero. Friends, the next trick is about how to enable pop-up notifications on the WhatsApp. So pop-up notifications is nothing but, for instance, while you are surfing Facebook or any other news application or any other application, and when you get a WhatsApp message, you have to open the WhatsApp and navigate to chat and reply from there, right? So when you enable the pop-up notification, and when you get a message on WhatsApp while you are surfing any other application, you can easily reply from there without leaving that particular application screen. Okay, hope I am clear. So now I'm gonna show you how to enable it. I have opened WhatsApp and gonna double tap on more options, which is located on the top right corner of the screen. More options button. I have double tapped on more options and navigate to settings here. Settings. Here we have to double tap on notifications in the settings. Data usage. Notific notifications. Okay, I have double tapped on notifications. So friends, in this notifications, you can see two parts of notifications. The first one, notifications is for personal chats and the second is for group notifications. So I'm going to swipe until we get pop-up notifications. So I'm going to swipe from the top of the screen. This is for the personal chat. Conversation tones. Message notifications. Notifications home. Deep ones. I'm gonna swipe right again. Vibrate. Default. Pop up notification only when screen on. So, pop up notifications. We have to double tap on this pop up notifications. And here we can see four check boxes. The first one is. Pop up notif No pop up in list. No pop up. The second one is. Checked only when screen on. Only when screen on. Only when screen off. The third one is only when screen off. And the fourth one is. Always show pop-up. Always show pop-up. So you can set these options according to your preferences. I recommend using this option only for personal chats because if we set this pop-up notifications for group, the members will post every now and then. So we'll get annoyed if we serve any applications. So I'm gonna press back button. I recommend using no pop-up for group notifications unless it is very necessary for you. So in this way, you can use this pop-up notifications, friends. Zero. Next trick is about how to make enter as send button. So friends, I'm in the chat on WhatsApp. I'm going to type hi in the edit box. Capital H. I. Okay, Space. I have typed hi. Now I want to send this message. I have to double tap on this send button, which is located on the right side of the edit box, right? Voice input. Send button. So, but there is a enter below the letter L okay Enter. so if we tap on this now a new line will be added but I don't want to double tap on the send button and I just want to tap on the enter to send my message so now I'm gonna show you how to make enter as send button so I'm gonna press back button to show you December 6th. how to do that I'm on the whatsapp screen right now and I'm gonna press more options which is located on the top right corner of the screen more options button now navigate to settings settings and list here we have to double tap on chats chats here we can see an option called make enter as sent button 
checkbox not checked. We have to check this checkbox. Enter a send. Enter key will add a new line. Not checked. Checkbox. We have to double tap on this. Enter a send. Enter key will send your message. Checked. Checkbox. So the checkbox has been checked. Now it says enter key will send the message. Enter a send. Enter key will send your message. Checked. Checkbox. Enter key will send your message. So now I'm gonna press back button to show you how it works. Talk back is active. Pause button. Now I'm in the chat and I have typed hello in the edit box. You can hear. Hi. Edit, sir. Edit box. Editing. Hello. Hello, I have typed. Now I'm gonna press enter to send this message. I'm gonna tap on just enter. Send. If I lift my finger on the message, you sent to the, the message will be sent to the particular chat. We no need to double tap on the send button and we no need to navigate to the send button which is located on the right side of the edit box. We just need to give a single tap on the enter which is located below the letter L. Zero. Yes, these are the tips and tricks which are very useful for us. Hope it will be helpful for you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any feedback and suggestions, write in the comments. And please share it with your friends on Twitter, Google+, WhatsApp and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Zero.